News of the riot came as no surprise for Abdul Hakim. The 39-year-old father of two was at home with his family when he heard a commotion outside. Abdul told me he was the first person to call the police. And this is why. This is the first riot in Singapore in four decades, all sparked by the death of an Indian national who was knocked down by a bus. They were hammering with their bare hands on the coach itself. And there were a lot of noise. There was a lot of cheering. And there was a lot of screaming also. And they were throwing bottles on the roadside. This shop owner had to close her store when the violence broke out. She and her family hid inside, trapped in the fear the rioters could break in. The fight is very big. Uh, they are breaking the cars and then they are turning the policeman's vehicle. So then they are putting fire on that. Last night, all of this produce was scattered on the ground outside of their store. The owners say the rioters used these vegetables as weapons to push back the police. They believe they could have lost up to $15,000 in lost produce and sales. But it's not just the economic impact. They fear there could be long-term issues for the Indian community. Because some of the people do like this. Other, uh, we are not in that, industry. we didn't participate in that but we also will be affected because of them. Hate messages on websites like these show why he and others are worried, but Singapore's government isn't convinced. I don't want to, to cast this as a you know, foreign worker versus us situation or uh, you know, try and overlay a racial uh, tone to it because I don't believe that that is the case. The minister believes the rioters' anger was fuelled by alcohol. A proposal to set up alcohol-free zones in Little India has been on the table for some time, but he now wants them to be made even tougher. Others say Singapore's South Asian foreign workers must be given fairer terms and better pay. This, they say, will go a long way towards removing tensions, which could threaten Singapore's reputation as a safe and stable society. Ashley Neem, BBC News, Singapore.